Dr. Kenyon, what first interested you in origin of life research? Well, I've had a long-standing interest in uh, the life sciences and and uh, goes back to high school days. Um, when I got to college as, a, as an undergraduate at the University of Chicago, I was studying physics at the time, but the Darwin uh, Centennial Celebration uh, took place there in 1959, and uh, I had an opportunity to hear some, uh, some great people uh, speak on the subject of origins. It really piqued my interest and kind of had an uh, impact on me for deciding what to do in, in graduate school, going on to Stanford and uh, working with some people who were working on the origin of life problems. Um, what was your viewpoint on the origin of life when you wrote Biochemical Predestination? Well, at that time I was working as a postdoctoral fellow in Melvin uh, Calvin's laboratory at UC Berkeley uh, in an atmosphere uh, where there was a great deal of work and discussion on the origin of life problem from the perspective of chemical evolution theory. And uh, I uh, had that view that, uh, that life did in fact arise on the planet by uh, by a chemical evolutionary process, I was uh, pretty convinced that, that that in fact was the case. How have your views on the origin of life changed since you wrote Biochemical Predestination? Well, uh, in the years following uh, publication of uh, Biochemical Predestination, uh, I had the opportunity to teach uh, in the area of uh, origin of life uh, and in the area of Darwinian evolution uh, here at San Francisco State. And uh, after about 10 years of this uh, teaching activity, I began to have some doubts about uh, whether or not life could have arisen uh, by natural means, by chemical evolution. And I had some doubts, growing doubts, about uh, whether or not there was a, a Darwinian uh, process to generate the major uh, forms of life. Uh, and so uh, it, took, it took a while to, to reorient uh, my thinking, but I did uh, eventually uh, uh, change my views uh, in both those areas. Yeah. Do many of your colleagues support your new position? If not, why not? Actually, very few have been uh, supportive um, of my uh, views, new views on, on origin of life and uh, the, the development of the, of the species. Um, I think a rather larger number of my faculty colleagues, however, are, are willing to uh, allow me to express these uh, new views in, in class. Uh, but the majority, though, uh, are unhappy on uh, both counts, I would say. Um, and uh, as to why uh, they hold this view, uh, I don't think there's a simple uh, answer to this. Uh, some of the, some of the uh, possibilities are that um, that the Darwinian uh, way of thinking is such a deeply ingrained uh, habit of thought. Um, it's been uh, prevalent for such a long time, and it has so many um, implications for for the whole of the biological sciences. Um, Another uh, aspect uh, tied to that, of course, is how graduate students are socialized as they go through their program and hear only uh, the Darwinian story of origins and uh, and I think my colleagues uh, in general, uh, those who are opposed to this, uh, uh, are very reluctant to, um, to, uh, to take time to examine this issue and maybe they realize the, the large orient reorientation of thought that would be re required if they were to change their views. So.